And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Targon Elusives. Puppy wanted to come check this deck out. Um, we're going to be playing, you know, aggressive elusive deck with our regular Ionia elusives, like our Green Glade Duo, Conspirator, Navori Blade Scout, all that kind of stuff. Um, pairing it with Targon, because Targon has some interesting help for the elusive. So we have like Lunari Shade Stalker, a nice. Um, two mana elusive and young witch it's a new card from call of the mountain which i guess that's back in ionia but then we also have a card like mentor of the stones i think this could be pretty awesome here because mentor of the stones if we support our elusives grow them up give them plus two plus two but then whenever mentor of the stones dies we get those gems and those gems can um, really help our elusives finish the game by adding in a bunch of power we got a couple of new one drops with gift giver creating a gem because with conspirator you need one drops right so you got to have got to have some so we're gonna have gift giver creating a gem for us spacey sketcher um helping us out spacey sketcher with the invoke a celestial card three or less sometimes we'll get the three mana elusive that's a three three with spacey sketcher that would be pretty nice uh, but then of course we also still have zed we got like our regular ionia top end windfair hatchling um, all that kind of stuff. Even a couple of Shadow Assassins that we can try to use some gems on to get Shadow Assassin to back being great again. All right, so let's play some Targon Elusives. We'll go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. And we'll see how we go. We have so... Yeah, so many of these cards have been nerfed. They just nerf Ionia so much. Yeah, we've got five mana Will of Ionia. One, two Shadow Assassin. 2-2, two, two. Navori Conspirator. Remember that? Used to be a 3-2. Uh, let's see. Well, Trundle, Freljord, Shadow Isles. This could be an Avalanche deck. I don't really want to face Avalanche with these cards. I'm going to try just keeping Mentor, I guess? I don't know. Young Witch... Okay, I like this. This will do. They pick the wrong row. Me if you can. Yeah, they're probably gonna have Avalanche and the box and um, what's the new one? Everything's better with company. Says you. We'll probably have the the new one also. The uh, Ice Quake. Oh yeah, definitely have Ice Quake. And have all that stuff. All right. So if they have an avalanche, my best play is to attack immediately. If they have avalanche, if they if they have like catalyst of aeons, my best play is to go conspirator and then and bl into blade scout. See that'd be four, six, eight. So that'd be eight damage. We'd be attacking for another four damage. I kind of think that that's honestly my play. Go all in. Hmm. I think that's my play. I'll take it from here. At this point, if they avalanche... You know, we're only... You know, like, we still have our other thing alive. Didn't want, didn't want to give them the chance there. So we, we got one extra point of damage in by playing Navori Conspirator. These jewels are more than got one extra point of damage in. All right, keeping Deny up. All right, so with Deny, we have four mana we can spend. So we can go... Four mana. We could go Mentor and Blade Scout. Or we could go Keeper of Masks, then Shade Stalker. So Keeper of Masks, then Shade Stalker. Maybe it was Blade Scout, Gem, Keeper of Masks. Alright, honestly, I guess. 
So they did have Avalanche, and I guess they could have another Avalanche. So maybe it's just better just to attack right now before doing another thing. Okay, well, they're not going to have another Avalanche. Invisible to the ignorant. I know a way. The clutch deny. Up there in the mountains. Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth, though. I like keeping those bashing up. Of anymore. Go, floaty crystals. Quietly now. This doesn't kill them. They're coming. I. I was thinking that was gonna kill them. We got him down to seven. Mentor the stones dies and gets us all these gems. That that really makes Sketcher better. All right, we're gonna say no to Ledros. good to spell shield it though. I want to spread out my damage. Kind of evenly. Right, so if I just made two things really big, as we saw with Harsh Winds. But they got another Harsh Winds, so still alive. And now we're weak to atrocity. Hoping to draw Will of Ionia to keep. I might as well stun this. Really hoping to draw Will of Ionia to keep Atrocity from killing us.
Thought we were gonna get that one. That's a matchup that we really need to be winning. Because there's a lot of other matchups that are not as good as that one. Of course, playing this on turn one so that I get to play Conspirator on turn two. I'm glad they didn't parlay. This is this is a deck that plays a lot of parlays. Hatchling, where were you last game? You would have helped out. I think. Maybe not. Maybe they would just like ruinationed if I would have played Hatchling. Yeah, super close. I could be sold that I'm making a mistake by protecting Navora Conspirator and really just how I've played this in general. That I should save that for Zed. scared to play the Zed there with them having all their open mana. Taking eight damage. It's either that block or this block. Yeah, this is this is a, a much much tougher matchup. You know, just village water decks in general are going to be much tougher than than that last deck. We really need to win that last game, especially with, with us having that one deny even. Basically, you know, turning this thing back and you know, in being into a 3-2 so it can block these 3-3s three easier. Oh, 
Try and resist. <sighs> All right, this is going to be. Out before they know their it's gonna be really difficult. Demacia challengers against our little elusives. Well, this is not good. I discarding? I guess Keeper of Masks. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Like this. So yeah, Keeper of Masks is pretty good, but the Trickster is probably a better card than that. Play what Green Glade Duo, then Blade Scout, then Sketcher. The Yordle here is with me. Never mind. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I play the Shade Stalker. Try. So yeah, you know, I wanted to pick up that Green Glade Duo because it can attack for so much with us being able to get all these things out here. Gamma with the donation deck. Thank you, Gamma. A Leeson Z deck. Okay. This will be quick. Keep running, kid. Walk softly and strike quickly. Unfortunately, they had single combat because they were dead if they didn't. All right, so we got a Lee Sin Zed buffing deck using the new crystal support, where Zed does like 90% of the work, and Lee Sin is just glad to have a job. <laughs> All right, another Green Glade duo. Back to the base. Oh God. I think this should be supporting the other. No, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, how'd that get the health buff? Oh, right, gem heals one. Right. Sisters. I have no equal. Right, gem healing one. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Try. Feel the sizzle. 
Well, if they don't have a removal spell, we're gonna win this. Right, Green Glade duo with millions of gems. So like, they have to have a removal spell. To protect all. Try me. What? So they just... Shatter they have to kill the elusives. Into the face. Feel the sizzle. Yes, Lee Sin is going to be reworked. Uh, that was in the last patch notes. It did state that, that Lee Sin is going to be reworked in either... They just said one of the next two patch updates. they're willing to give me all these gems. So I can make both of these... Like, they didn't kill my elusives. I can make both of those lethal attackers. We could just do that. We're just gonna do that, so I guess they have to have... Two removal spells. Or some healing or something. Okay, GG's. I don't understand why they challenge that and not challenge an elusive, but stuff like that. Bright Seal Protector. Alright, so so assuming this is They Who Endure, and so also assuming that this is not too bad for us. Um, because usually they who endure doesn't have removal spells. Now, with that being said, the one removal spell they usually play is Vile Feast, so they could kill Green Glade Duo with Vile Feast, and then we could be in a lot of trouble. It's definitely going to be relying on Green Glade Duo. Definitely. So with no attack token turn one, I'm waiting. I'm not playing Blade Scout. My plan, just with like these three cards with the opener, my plan is playing Green Glade Duo on turn two, attacking for two. I guess, and then you know I was gonna have Keeper and Blade Scout like the same turn, but now we'll probably want to play Zed on their turn. Then we could go like Blade Scout, Conspirator, Blade Scout. For turn four. So yeah, so hopefully no Vile Feast. Should be good as long as there's no Vile Feast. No. Oh, it is storming here. My power may actually cut out. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I, do I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I, I got kind of like a, a flicker thing here that I was noticing with the power. Um, I looked at that, and then I... Yeah, that was just obviously a bad play, playing Zed. Into that. Well. That was dumb. Uh, but I don't think... You know, I said no Vile Feast, but obviously that, that was a lot worse than Vile Feast. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not beating that. Blind Caretaker. I guess that was the other thing that we need to dodge besides Valfis was Caretaker. We had to dodge that. <laughs> I'm quick, I'm playing the PC. Blame it on the power outage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't... Even if I don't play Zed there, I mean, my Zed's not... We're not outracing this stuff. Oops. 
there's Okay, Blighty Caretaker also amazing. Okay, so that's that's the card that beats us, Blighty Caretaker. More challengers. Why are we dealing with the challengers? I don't like challengers. I don't I don't like challengers. That game shouldn't count. I mean Yeah, it did did have did have that brain fart there, but we were we were still losing. Um, this video is super short, so yeah, we we could probably just play a sixth game. Yeah, like We'll play a six game. This video is super short. Everything's better with company. Says you. Without a sound. That's a curve. Get Zed on. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I'm assuming they're going to be able to kill Zed, and so that's why I'm attacking with a Gift Giver. But I do think it's worth it attacking with the Zed and getting, you know, like, we got four damage in and had them use the spell, and Fiora's at one health. Like, I think that's still a, a worth it attack. Five damage in, actually. No. No, 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 no. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Batter him! Eat up, friend! So I could use Pill Cascade and kill the war chefs. But I just want to get more of these in play. There's always a way out. Another room failed me. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. They say these were from the protector himself. Forgive me. So they're down to four. So I need one of these elusives and a pale cascade. Mench of the Stones with Young Witch and Pale Cascade. Um, yeah, I used the the blue Yeti Pro mic. And um, so I basically need them to not have single combat right now this turn. They can draw single combats and we'll have deny. But I can't I can't have single combat right now. Is it worth to play the other young witch? Feel like I can. Can't really think of how I get well punished for playing that first. Yeah, so that's not really punishing me for doing that first. But now I have, I have enough like where I don't actually have to cast the pale cascade. Also, like we have enough damage. All right, there we go. GG's, two and three. I feel like the maybe maybe this is a deny format. The maybe it'd be better just be playing two denies, no bastion. I have liked this deny. The good news is we have threats. The bad news is all of our threats die super easy due to zero spells. You know, that everything being at one and two health.
I'm gonna get rid of Young Witch. With it costing two mana and dying to a one damage spell. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. There's always a way out. Well, that's cool. If they're out there, I'll spot them. That worked out. Time for a true display of skill. Do not be a shrouded path. In Avarosa's name! You call that sneaky? A weird attack with the Ezreal. The Felt like a weird attack. Well, we gonna have lots Fire. of Zeds. Down to 10. I think this game's been going well for us so far. About as good as we could hope. Bell Cascade is so good. Card is quite good. The order. Alright, heal that. And... I think I want to play this Shadow Assassin so they can't just like... Like, if I play Zed, they, like, Mystic Shot my Navori Conspirator, and then hit me with Ezreal, and then Mystic Shot me Zed. Okay, next turn. Turn six. If I take Moon Silver, I can play Blade Scout. You know, I can play all three of these. I'll just take the messenger, though. We'll take the good pup. Look at that pup. Good pup. Good little puppy. Click the messenger. Good puppy. I'm going to lead with Zed. With me having a backup Zed available as well. Zed one. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Another Ezreal's Mystic Shot. They cannot hide. <sighs> Alright, so Sejuani is going to be hitting hard. Born for conquest. Ooh, you're interesting. That seems worth it. Let's just clear up a space. Okay, let's see. Let's go with... Alright, we'll give it to you. So. Alright, so now... So I think I start next turn by going Crescent Strike. Stun, stun. Oh, 
I like the stun first so that maybe they spend more mana, do other things. You go Navori and, and Windfair Hatchling. What I like about this is our ability to have Pale Cascade up also. down to three. I think you're right. I think I should have gone I think I should have gone Blade Scout Hatchling. Yeah, we're right. So we're really at six. I can only it's too late for you. Protect us, shield me. I can only block Oh, makes more sense to block here. So, you know, we're down to five, basically, and with a leveled up Ezreal, that means one burn spell or just two spells. I mean, I guess technically three spells. Yeah, Brittle Steel. I don't know, Brittle Steel wouldn't hit me nearly as bad because, right, because it's three power. None of my stuff. I guess my cheap, my little things would have had three power, but my elusives wouldn't. They would have had to, like none of my elusives would have had three power. They would have definitely had to block with Ezreal on an elusive, so we would have killed Ezreal at the very least. Oh, that's right. It's by it's by HP, not power. Right, never mind. Brittle Steel, yeah, never mind. Brittle Steel would have hit me back. Yeah, would have just they would have got rid of these things. GG's. Well, extra game didn't go as well either. It started off so good too. It started off so good. The first five turns, I was riding high. I was thinking that we were going to be winning that for sure. Um, but then you know, Sejuani hits hard, and then. Couple brittle steals here and there, and leveled up Ezreal happens super fast. But yeah, the it's those other units, right? The Sejuani was awesome, but then the two Chumpwumps, right? The two Chumpwumps were key. They were good blockers, and they gave my opponent all those spells to use. But yeah, I think moving forward, I think I would uh, take out the. Bastion and just play a second deny. There are a lot of avalanche kind of cards running around where I think that deny may be better for us. This deck's pretty close. It's just missing like a little bit of power, like a little bit of reach. Something. I think Hatchling's probably that power. I probably needed to play Hatchling more aggressively more often and i think hatchling maybe just what this deck needs like maybe this I, I kind of feel like hatchling should maybe just be a three of um mentor the stones didn't impress me too much honestly the spacey sketcher didn't really impress me that much that's what i'd probably get rid of just get rid of a sketcher you can just play one sketcher Honestly, Gift Giver was good. I think Gift Giver is just better. I would just play three Gift Giver. I don't think you really need that Spacey Sketcher. There we go. That's that's what I'd do. I'd just get rid of that card. And Gift Giver was good. Get another one of those. And uh, then maybe get a third Hatchling for that. Lots of power. Um, or you could do... Or honestly, you could do like the a Cygnus. 
so you don't so they're not all seven mana right because like sometimes you have the attack tokens on turn four turn you know turn two turn four turn six and so you can have like a cygnus you know like so it's good to split that up actually i like that because then cygnus could give zed elusive i like that that's the, the that's the thing that's kind of the problem with the empyrean like the Pyrian's awesome but it also costs seven and you know you don't always have the attack token turn seven and so like having to wait till turn eight to get like those those things so yeah maybe play a, a cygnus also cygnus is pretty good or what about a fey guide fey guide that could be good a three a good three three blocker for turn four grant an ally elusive use that with zed you can also use like Fey Guide on like Mentor of the Stones, give that elusive so it doesn't die in combat, kind of thing. Or Keeper of the Masks or something. Ooh, maybe Fey Guide. Fey Guide's pretty sweet. I like it. That's what that's what I would recommend. I recommend taking out those little one drops. They're they're whatever. Get another gift giver in here because you do want like six one drops for Conspirator. But that, that should probably up the power level a little bit, getting a Fey Guide that can actually do some blocking for you to help you stay alive a little longer. And maybe give something else like Zed Elusive. Or you just re-give Blade Scout Elusive, you know, like whenever you played an early Blade Scout. I like it. All right, there we go. There's Targon Elusives. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Anything you know, any any other way to kind of go with the deck, or you know, any other kind of comments you got, uh, whatever you want to see later on, another another deck you want to see on stream, or for YouTube, let me know. Oh my, my camera is pointed so far down because I had puppy. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Targon Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.